Hello and blessings, beautiful souls. So, <laughs> I have lots of things to unbox. I realised after just pressing record that I've only got four boxes here and I've got five boxes in the back of my car. So I won't be unboxing those ones down there. That's why I've called this one part one. Um, actually have another little boxy thing here. Um, I want to give this one a little bit more attention because it is something that was created specifically for me from, hello, Irish, Clada, hello, Miriam, hello, Witch of the Wildwood, hello, Fablist. Um, this one was created by a beautiful coven sister of mine who is busy trekking across Europe right now, finding her heart and soul. Like, look at how beautiful this is. She contacted me and um, she asked if she could make something for me. We studied Marla um, in Coven Space uh, at la sometime last year and the coven was um, div like people in the coven volunteered to give talks on Marla. So they all joined a little group and then they did a personal presentation and all of that kind of good fun stuff. And this beautiful woman was a part of the Marla presentation. She did such a wonderful job and fell in love with Marla and decided to make one for that process. And then she realized how much she loved making it. Oh, and she made this beautiful one for me and it's come all the way over from Europe and it is gorgeous it is gorgeous I will be doing more of a talk on that one and I'm going to give you her details because right now <laughs> I don't have them on hand but I will get them for you all right so <clears throat> This is exciting. Who else have we got here? Hi, Debbie. How are you going? Hi, Kimber. Hello, Megan. Brianna. Ozzy Ruth. Hi. Bella Bog. How are you going? Bella. Yeah, did I pronounce that right? Jacqueline White. Oh, all right. So I've got lots to unbox. So, and I thought I had more, but, and I do, but most of them are in the back of my car. I have a little um, thing in the back of my car. Like I have a bag for all of the packages because sometimes I go to the post office and there are like 10 packages and then I have to try and get them from the, from the post office to my car. So I have a bag. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Can everyone hear me okay? This one here is... I don't know what this one here is. Oh, this is a mystery. I didn't know which one this was. All right. It just gets better. It's better when there's a mystery. Okay. Oh, beautiful card. This is like, this is mail time. Time to look at my new deck emerging from darkness. This is the emerging from darkness tarot. Tarot shadow work. It's a tarot shadow work deck. Oh my gosh, from Robin. I know. I I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. I just need to find some space. Okay, so if I remember correctly, then Robin also did the beautiful rebellion tarot, which was like based on pre raphaelite art and it was stunning. Oh, okay, we've got a thing. We've got a thing. Oh, yay! Emerging from darkness. So here it is. Look at that. So um, PDF book, deck plus book. So the PDF book is $10. The deck plus book is $45. The deck and paperback book is 60, the deck and paperback spread cloth, plus spread cloth, deck, paperback, spread cloth, 75, deck, paperback, zippered pouch, 80, and the whole package, 95. 
Oh, visit on Instagram. That's so awesome. So a brand new 79 card tarot deck and accompanying paperback workbook for shadow work from the creator of the Beautiful Rebellion Tarot. So I loved the Beautiful Rebellion Tarot. So let's have a look, Robin. I'm, I'm throwing this on the ground, not to be careless with it, but I have like, I have that, like that much spare space. Like that's the edge of that spare space. Like it goes like this. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> because I have boxes everywhere. I should have just put the boxes on the ground. So it's a tuck box. This is the box itself. Emerging from darkness, a tarot deck for shadow work. I'm down, I'm so down with it. Super amounts of down with it. Okay, so we have this swanky little, oh, it's interesting. Okay, that's what we've got. Obviously there's a, there's a paperback to go with it. This seems to be like the little, the, the guidebook. Likes you. Ooh, the backing is really interesting. It's like ice in a way. Cardstock, 380? 380, yep. There's a slight give and a flimsiness to it. Place card. We're just going to have a quick flip, flip through because I promise I will create better videos for all of these, but I just have to unbox them. Otherwise, oh my gosh. Here is the fool. It's black and white. So I'm uh, the magician is just the priestess. Look. There is something very special about this deck. She always does such a good job. Here we have the Hierophant hitting the books, which I approve. The Lovers, the Bonded Rings, the Chariot. Strength. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. Right, right. Let me. Hanged Man. That's a little ode to the beautiful Chris Ann Donnelly in her Light Seers Tarot. Here we have Death through Traditional Cemetery, the Devil Bondage, which I dig. Tower. Interesting, it's the lightning strike rather than the, the star. It's the starry landscape. This is a really interesting layout. The world. The ace of cups. This is me in the morning. My small amount of like personal satisfaction, just like, oh, is a hot cup of tea, the dash of cream. Just that is my like little cup of comfort. It's amazing. I feel that there. That's cup runneth over. Um, we have the two. I'm going to flick through it a bit quicker. Okay. Six of cups. We have the seven of cups. Temptation. I'm on sugar free at the moment. That really speaks to me. Daughter of cups. Son of cups. Mother of Cups and Father of Cups. Nice etched face. We have wands here with a beautiful sparkler. Two of wands. Wow. There's competition. There is just, <laughs> this is a very modern one. Ace of Swords, I respect that. I have a quill in the bone stone, Ace. Two of Swords, there we go. Three. Son of Swords. 
the Mother of Swords. I love that. Then we have the Father of Swords. We have coins instead of pentacles. I want to see the five. Look, the five is a beggar. Six of coins is your charity card. Seven of coins. It's little savings. Oh, I love how it's how it's called. Oh, the son of coins. Like just working away there, hardcore. Father of coins. And this is the 79th card. This is the mother of shadows. I'd be interested to read what the Mother of Shadows is all about. In fact, let us together have a bit of a look, skis. A Mother of Shadows, guidance, trust, connection. The Mother of Shadows reminds you that you need to go you need not go into shadow alone. Others have gone before you and have come out on the other side wiser and ready to share that wisdom with those starting their own shadow work journey. We need never walk in the dark unaided. When she shows up in a reading, seek the assistance and support of others sharing in the shadow work process. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Right, so that was... El Beautiful. <laughs> I can hear, I can hear my um, family trying to escape to an easy lunch. Where I'm, I'm encouraging everyone to eat better. And my father, who is in his 70s, has a hella craving for um, for all things junky. And I'm trying to make sure that he lives a long life, longer than the 70 years he's had. Um, I'm trying not to break these cards. It's a tight squeeze. It is a tight squeeze. Whoa! The fact that I even managed that is amazing. So thank you, Robin. Emerging from darkness tarot for your shadow work, for your shadow work. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the world now. I use it so much. I used to use all these pissy little like scissors and now I'm like, nah, big girl needs a knife. Alrighty. Woo! We've got a witch's roots. Got a witch's roots. We got a witch's roots. We got a witch's roots. This the sacred goddess. The sacred goddess. God, I love me. The witch's anything. The witch's moon anything. We have passion flower. This was so big up in Queensland. Oh my gosh, I'm not even keeping an eye. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I wasn't even keeping an eye on the chat. I was just going for it. Like, speed is everything. We have, oh my gosh, we have a glass dropper. I love these bad boys. And I need these bad boys. At the rate that I go about using oils, like that is imperative to my witch's practice. Here is the oil. Sacred goddess oil. Nice big bottle, nice big bottle. Ooh, 
smells really feminine, but I want to say it has a maiden energy as opposed to having a crone energy, but the sacred goddess, like, who am I to dictate the terms of her scent parameter? Okay, so we have a beautiful, looks to be purple, candle. I love the smell of the candles. Look, it's a really beautiful lilac. I'm going to put that here. We also have the passion flower. This is such a good herb. I haven't been able to play around with passion flower for a long time. We have, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it's just good. <laughs> Just good. We have a thing here. It's a little box of something. Ah. It is a shell. It's a shell abalone box of some description. Look at that. It's beautiful. Do you know where this is going to go? At the foot of um, Odisha and Manjar over there. She loves me some shell stuff, okay? She's very good with shells. And this looks like ruby zoite, maybe? A ruby stone of sun description. We will soon see if I am right or I am wrong. And there is a little box. Oh, may the lady of the moon guide your way and it is a little pendant hang on let me take it out so that you can have a little look these are really really fun they oftentimes put these little pendants in there there we go and these are great for charming candles too if you're not into wearing these, then hang them all around your candles. Hang them on your statuary, your goddess statuary. Like there's ways of using these types of things that don't necessarily need to, to be direct wearing over the, the body. And so, really beautiful little box of goodies from the witches. Roots. Now let's have a look at what the idea here is. We had passion flower. We had the sacred goddess ritual oil, jasmine, patchouli, sandalwood, amongst other things. Royal mini spell candle, lunar ritual incense sticks. Doesn't say what it's made of. Lady of the moon pendant and chain. It's pewter. Okay, so it's a connection charm. Natural purple shell box. Purple shell box within this collection, holds the energy. Be yep, beautiful. Lepidolite, not ruby zoite, lepidolite, tumbled stone with pouch to aid in calming. I do love me some lepidolite and passion flower from my artwork. Now, passion flower, a very soothing and sedative like herb. The passion flower has many serene benefits that we have worked with over many years. So there is 500 different species. There's a good amount of information about it. But that is the crux of this witch's roots. So I, if you want to know a little bit more about it, I'm going to do, be doing some like up close Insta photos of this box because I want to I want to be able to showcase it properly. I love the Witch's Moon. I think they are an incredible, incredible heart-centered, devoted to quality company. I can oh I love them. I really, really do. I support them a hundred percent. I love them with all of my heart. And I think that they are incredible. And I highly, highly encourage you to try them out if you have the option or the um, ability to do so. Because there are so many boxes out there. There really are so many beautiful boxes. But I tell you what, 
The Witch's Moon. In my opinion, they are the best. Hands down, they are the best. We have the Witch's Bounty here. Oh, God, this looks like Lilith. Look at that. It looks like Lilith. <laughs> what are we doing? North Carolina is 8 p.m. here too. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, look at you guys go. You're all having a beautiful conversation. I love it. I'm loving that artwork. Look at how pretty that is. That's really pretty. We have here Serpent of Wisdom is the theme. There are many moments along the journey that bring us to points of confusion and misconceptions. This can be a consequence of emotional entanglement and a lack of balance within our spiritual centers. Through moments of seeming despair and chaos we choose to rely upon our natural urge to step into the states of awareness seeking answers of wisdom and guidance as we work with the wisdom of the serpent we connect with our intellectual guides bringing us closer to a more fluid transformative lifestyle these conscious choices to connect with the deeper meaning of all things brings us closer to true understanding eventually guiding us through difficult situations and decisions we have carefully chosen and crafted the items that are placed within this collection to bring balance and wisdom into your daily experiences the magical items in this box are hand carved fossil palm wood serpent with opal inlay oh my god it's like she, it's like they knew what was going on in my heart and soul like it's like chaos sadness confusion difficulty serpent magical anointing oil bringer of balance ritual incense natural connection mini spell candle tumbled bloodstone yes the mulahadra needs that uh fossilized Palm agate goddess artwork. I'm feeling it. Oh, look at the inside of this box. Like, not your typical shredded setup. Okay, first of all, the stretchy cord is brown. You know this stretchy cord. Tis brown. Second of all. This beautiful olivine or sage green, like dark sage. Ooh, look at this tiny little bloodstone. Really, really. It looks like a lolly. I felt hungry then when I looked at it. Like that's so tiny, like a lolly. Oh, the serpent oil. Look at the oil. Look at how just like yummy and sludgy it is. I have to smell this. Yep, get on my skin. Yep, yep, we're in love. We're in love with that. We're in love with that smell. That smells going down to my house with me. That smells going on my neck. That is a good scent. Well done. Oh my God, I just opened the box and I didn't realize what I was doing. I just opened the box. It is so beautiful. Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> Look at it. It's like a primordial snake. It's like the primordial, the beautiful primordial snake. 
It is so incredible. Look at how pretty and like, intricate it is. I wasn't ready. I just opened it and I was like, I was shocked. Did you see my moment of shock? You you witnessed it along with me. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for it. I always like to do it last. And I just went and grabbed it and opened it. I was like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind it. It's a bit powdery. The smell of that one's a little bit powdery. Not my cup of tea per se but I will still burn it, no doubt. And here we have a natural beeswax candle. I just love how beautiful and creamy the natural beeswax looks. Oh my gosh, I just can't even with that beautiful pendant. Can we just, oh, it's so pretty. Guys, 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 listen to me. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get a hold of my beautiful father's <sighs> Sony A7III R, full frame, delicious beauty. I'm going to go outside just before the sun starts to set so the light's really muted and I'm going to take so many incredible photos with details of this. You are going to be able to see it. You are going to be able to really see it the way that I'm seeing it right now because you need to be able to see it the way that I'm seeing it right now because it is beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. I've never seen anything like that. And that, friends, is why we love The Witch's Moon because they go above and beyond. Well, I don't really want to put this away. But I will just so I can take a good photo of it later. Yes. Yes, friends. Yes. Okay. Itchy nose. So, so far we have done the Mala the Tarot two boxes. This is the last box that I have for you for part one of this unboxing. There we go. Okay. We know this, don't we? We know what this is. We know what it looks like. We know the magic. We know the magic, don't we? Good gracious me. Hang on. I've isolated myself from my mouse. <laughs> All righty. Opening this up. 12 month spread. So there's a tarot thing going on here. I feel. I feel. I don't know what month this is because I'm very behind. As you guys know, I'm behind because I've been going through stuff, not because I've been sitting here on my ass doing nothing. The Guided Truth Gold Edition. <gasps> gold foil, golden art nouveau tarot deck. Velvet tarot pouch, triple moon, pentacle tarot cloth. 12 months spread. Oh my gosh, it's tarot. Revelier Magical Anointing Oil, Yule Blessing Celebratory Salt Kit, Golden Dawn Ritual Aura Spray, Spray, not Spay. The Longest Night Ritual Incense Sticks, Temperance Ritual Herbal Tea, Black Tourmaline Crystal, Badiana or Star Anise. 
Wild Cherry Bark, Personalized Oracle Reading, Parchment Paper, Parchment Paper. All right, we're getting straight into it. This is the Guided Truth. As we prepare for, the, for and celebrate the longest night and the coming of the reborn year. So this is about the solstice. That's how late I am. This is a December box. I'm opening the December box. It's enough to make me depressed. The Relics of Lumeria, Fragments of Memory Reclaiming. This looks like something out of Avatar on Pandora. The Floating Mountains of Pandora <laughs> reminds me of that for all of you who like it. A Truth and Tale. A little, a little, um, a little spell, a little, a little prayer, a little something there. Straight up, we have Star Anise. Or Annecy, and then Wild Cherry Bark. Yeah, yeah. We have here the Temperance Tea and the Muslin Cloth for the El Natural Tea Experience. We have here Holy Mick and Molly. Yule Blessing, I don't want to open it up, Yule Blessing, like salt thing, it's got a muslin wrap as well, it looks like it's got a lot of herb in there, oh I want to keep that for Yule of this year. We have oils here, we have beautiful oils, oh it could it be January? <laughs> It might be January. Okay. Revelier. Oh my God, it's fused. I could almost not open it. Sweet, really sweet. Oh, that's nice. That's the type of perfume I like to wear. There's a there's a lolly sweetness to it. That's not the type of perfume I like to wear, but there's a lolly sweetness to it. I did take quite a bit of it on my nose then. That is two really beautiful oils. They've been making these really minty, very kind of, I would describe them as, um, somewhat masculine aroma and yeah it's um they've they've switched to sweet again and I much prefer the sweet I don't really go for the zesty flavors although some of them have been really nice golden dawn spray whoo A little thingy that doesn't fit is that supposed to fit in there if that's supposed to fit in there it doesn't fit I should have probably seen that from the on from the get-go oh that's nice I'll just have to trim that methinks me thinks, me thinks, me thinks. But that is the atomizer part. We have here friends. <laughs> Hi Biffy, how are you going? Here we have tourmaline. I love tourmaline. It is the most functional of crystals, I think. As a spirit worker, I say that as a spirit worker. The most functional of crystals. Oh, we have a little tarot pouch here, which I'm now obligated to do the thing. Ooh. The incense is wrapped in here. It's fancier. It's fancier. The actual witch's moon box 
their ritual box, which is this one here, is always a bit, just a smidge more fancy. I just want to smell it. That smells like the type of incense that my mother likes to burn, which is, you know, a fond memory. It's nostalgic. Oh, look at this gorgeous black. I can't take the rest of it off. This always happens to me. A true black candle. Never let these ones go, folks. Black candles, true black candles are hard to find. Well, at least they are for me. Apparently everyone likes to, to dye their candles so they're, they're black on the outside, but when you start burning it, you can see that they're white on the inside. I'm like, what is this kind of charade? This is a very sturdy cloth, folks. Nice and big. Nice and big. And it's a solid material, like a, a kind of like a drill cotton. Not your usual kind of flimsy, like fake silk. Very nice. This is very good quality. This is what I was saying, folks. Good quality. Good quality. It smells nice too. All right. So let's, that leaves us with the tarot deck. Let me put this down a little bit. This is the outside of it, the gold. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I have the Art Nouveau. It's a low, it's a low Scarabeo deck. Hmm. There we go. Knife for the win. There we go. Less shiny. <laughs> well, actually, still quite a bit shiny. Plastic on the inside as well. I wonder how much plastic is used in the um, in the tarot making community. It's a question, isn't it? It's a scary question to even think about. We're doing this. Ah, multilingual little white book. We have the Tarosophy thing here. All right. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, okay. I see. I see what's going on here. Like, like it's embellished. Like it's really, really like golden. It's very pretty. <laughs> I can't get the shine. I'm going to have to photograph this one better for you. But it's actually, like, really romantic and it's really pretty and, yeah, I'm into it. I'm actually into it. I don't have the deck. The Art Nouveau is a classic, a classic, if you will. 
So I'm definitely, definitely going to have to um, have a close-up look at that. I'll do some stories. How about them ones? Can we just... Thank you. Thank you. Now to make everything fit back in here. <laughs> you think it's easy, folks, but it's not. <laughs> they do an incredible job of packing things beautifully and as such it can be tricky all right one thing I don't think I looked at oh no I did I looked at all of it That is fitting back in the box. There we go. Oh, I didn't put the golden dawn. The golden dawn and the oil didn't go back in. Drats. <laughs> Good luck finding space. That's practically what it said to me. I got it back in. Points for me. Amazing. So, folks. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are we thinking? What are we thinking of the unboxings? I love the Witch's Moon so much. Do you guys like the Witch's Moon? Like, talk to me about the Witch's Moon. Let's just have this conversation right now. What is your favorite? Do you love them? What do you love most about them? Because what I love most about them is their quality, their variety, their innovation, their generosity, their heart-centeredness. I just love, I love them. I love, love, love them. What do we got here? Aussie Ruth tarot decks need to mirror an aspect of your personality. I genuinely believe that. There are so many incredible tarot decks out there and it's really important to be able to connect with a deck to a point where that deck becomes truly useful to you. But there are so many things to consider when you get to that point. Like that's one of the questions that I get asked the most is like, what is a suitable tarot deck for the beginner? But there is no like standard answer because everyone is so different and is coming to the tarot for very different reasons. And those differences, those unique qualities need to be somehow reflected in that deck that they are buying. So it can be very tricky. It can be very tricky. Yeah. Oh, Biffy, that's a shame. Woohoo! Kimba, that's exciting. Which one are you getting, Kimba? You're getting your first box. That's great. Which one did you go for? Did you go for the moon, the roots, or the bounty? <laughs> Bumblebee, I got the aura spray from oh the one that I mm, I do love to spray things all over myself. I do. But at the moment I'm already covered in Serenity Aura Spray. If you watched my um Instagram live, you would see me like, did I actually spray it on myself or did I just talk about it? I don't know. I just did readings and I spray myself every time I do readings. So I'm like, I, I'm sprayed. I'm very sprayed. <laughs> the Tarot of Bones. Oh, I was going to say I don't know that one, but I think I do know that one. Woohoo! 
the moon for now. <laughs> I'm hearing you, Kimbra. I'm hearing you. That's so fun. Well, folks, before I head off, does anyone have any quick questions, any questions they want to ask? It doesn't necessarily need to be about the unboxings that I have just done, although if you want them to be about the unboxings that I have just done, that's totes fine as well. But if you want to know about my sexy new knife, it's a Leatherman, it's matte black. That's important to me. <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm putting this one here so that I remember. I've got rubbish. I have got rubbish to dispose of, which is super amounts of fun. And um, looks like my readings are ready to upload the Golden Dawn Aura Spray. I use it every day. Oh, yum! <laughs> Oh, Erica D, I'm hearing you. Did my dad stop sweets and sugar? Susie, the 